Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. Do you see? I'm driving. Look at the bags on my eyes. My eyes look like road maps because I've been driving so long for the princess to go out on her hunt. I'm still driving and she's still sleeping. What's wrong with this picture? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you? You ever, you ever been on a hunt here? How are you doing? Great to see you. Sorry, it took us a little Big take. <laughs> We're wearing our North Dakota hats here, buddy. This is the Archer's Choice. Thank God I have my fuzz buster. But you slowed down. <laughs> Well, this week on the Archer's Choice, you bet you by gosh, by jolly golly. Can you guess where we're going this this week? Where do you think? <laughs> oh, geez, Ralph, I think we should go back up to North Dakota and what? visit the brands of Double B Outfitters. Yeah, geez, Vicky, I think you're right. Oh, you betcha. Yeah, you betcha. We'll go and shoot, go and hunt some ducks and some bucks, and we'll see how it goes. And we're also going to be joined this week by... Tom Gallagher from Cabela's. If you happen Big to see tea. the Big lucky tea. logo this week is a mirror step. On the ground or in the air, you better look for the logo because you never know where. <laughs> wow. He's just a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> Jeez, Anyways, but... if you do see the mirror step logo, then at the end of the show, we'll tell you where to go and someone's going to win some stuff. Okay, well, let's not waste go. any time. And what is this though, real quick? It's, it's my fuzz buster. This is the new bad boy buggy and you really need that. In the turnip patch? No. Yeah, we're set up here in the ground blind, right on the edge of a tree row here. Both sides of the field. There's open areas, and we've got this little cut right down the middle here that we're set up in. So the wind's been blowing pretty good, but it's coming out of the northwest, so we're all excited about this afternoon. So we're just going to settle back in and keep an eye out and see what starts to move. really great. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was really a great, great deal. <sighs> Tom, was that great or was that just really, really was great? Was that great? That was oh, really great. That was Tom. great. Wow. wow. Boy, this is the first one out of a blind like this. This was really <laughs> quite an experience. Yeah, I, I, you know, you look for them all the time and you always wonder if that, this was really neat to be right down on the ground with a mic like this. Let's, let's take a look. Sounds like 
Oh, yeah. That's oh, pretty nice, bro. Yeah, I got real good penetration on it. Went right through. Don't go away, because when we return, we're, we'll let Big Tom get his hands on his big North Dakota buck. Hi, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, I know Tom can't wait to get his hands on that buck, that North Dakota trophy. North Dakota. Hey, that's the first time he shot out of ground blind. Yeah, he, he, he likes it. I think we hooked him on ground blind hunting. I think so. Should we go? Yes, go. Oh, geez, Ralph. With all the geese on the field and all the ducks, it was an amazing night. <laughs> they were piling in here. We had so many ducks in here that when they would flush up, you could hear them just thunder the way sure. they flush out. We'll hunt them in the morning. Yeah, that, that'll be exciting. Oh, this is really exciting. I was, uh, as I was saying earlier, I, he caught me off guard a little bit. When he first uh, came in and appeared, I was watching some other deer, and then all of a sudden there he was. And uh, you know, we've been sitting in these blinds for the last couple days, and I really like it. It's the first time I've ever done anything on the blind like that. I've uh, shot some turkeys in spring, but never bow hunted deer out of them. So that was really quite an experience to be that close to the ground. And I mean, he wasn't 17 yards away, I don't think. The body size on these is just, I can't get over it. And so uh, it was uh, it was pretty exciting there. I was uh, I was shaking pretty bad after we were done. I got <laughs> a little bit of adrenaline going. Hey, it's time for ducks. 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 Yes, we're ducks. going duck hunting. Ducks. Yeah, we're gonna take Justin, one of our local guys here. That and even RJ. Yep. RJ gets in the field to do a little bit of a quack quack type of thing. Well, yeah, but this is this is Justin's first trip away for a duck hunt, and he's pretty excited. He's pumped. He's yeah. geeked. Mm -hmm. Well, what we're doing is maybe right up alongside it. Right? As you know, we're with Double B, and. Uh, Tom shot a great buck yesterday. Joe was filming him, and now we're gonna set up. We've got everybody in the field, so it might be a little crazy, but we've got everybody in the field. We're gonna get us set up. We're gonna use our mojo blankets. There was a big feed here yesterday, so hopefully we're gonna be set up in the right spot. We'll see what happens. Wait till you see RJ. He's got his little ghillie suit on. He's looking cool. North Dakota doesn't get any better than this. The back one's a drink. Yep. My heart feels like it's going to be out of my chest here in a little bit. <laughs> Shoot the drake. Woo! Whoa, boy. Here. I can tell you, I don't know. Good boy. He's all right. He's coming around. You want me to take him? <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is pretty simple. With more and more of us hunt hunting out of ground blinds, like you've got the Ameristep right here, the big dominator, well, you see everything's black, and we're sitting far back, so we're not getting out in that light. Well, most of your true fiber optics, like our True Glow Range Rover site, needs the ambient light. So you want to make sure when you're starting to get in these blinds more, Use a lighted pin wherever it's legal and it'll help you to aim out into that open area and see where you need to aim or hold. Okay, Vic, run by. Vic, that is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Congratulations on that shooting, but no, God, we need we, to talk about the hitting. We need to talk about the hitting. They need a little work on that. Yeah. Well, now, you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, Ralph is going to be on the ground because I'm going to knock him out. Oh. No, that's right. He's gonna go deer hunting out of his Ameristep ground blank. Don't go anywhere. On the ground with the big RC. Ooh. Remote ooh. control. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Well, 
welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's join Ralph in his immersive ground blind and see if he can't go get himself a big old deer. RJ did perfect. You did couldn't he? ask him to do any better, yeah. Yeah, he now knows what a female shoveler is. <laughs> Good, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralph. Yes. That's Vicky when yeah. she shovels the driveway. Yeah, ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, when it snows and Vicky shovels the driveway, that's a female shoveler in our house. Nah. We don't see them around our house. <laughs> Dog's attacking. <laughs> Dog's gonna leave. Hold it, hold it. Well, we're back in our Ameristep Intimidator blind. Last night, Vicky had a super encounter of a really good den. We just, it just got her flushed, frust, flustered, let's say. And she double hitched and instead of her trying to take that shot she passed on it which is excellent to do her bedding area is pretty much to the to the south we got a west wind northwest sometimes southwest coming across but predominantly west there's line of scrapes here with we believe some old apple trees just to the north these deer come through this timber and then they either go out to the corn or the winter wheat so we'll see what happens. Yesterday we had a lot of activity. Hopefully today's the same. Oh, it's Ninja Ralph. We got a good bug, guys. Right. Good deer. <laughs> good job, bro. There's the arrow. Look it. The blood looks good. Oh, looks yeah. Real good. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Spitfire, baby. guys are busting my chops. I'm so excited. And you know, we've always said it. I mean, look what you we're coming for. Look at the mass. Look at this buck. You can't ask for anything better, guys. It's another 300 pound deer here oh, yeah. with yeah, double yeah. B. These, you guys, Whoa. this is amazing. Look at the girth on that deer. Thanks guys. Good job. I mean it, man. Thank, Thank you. Good job, way to get them. <sighs> look at the size. This deer. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, look at how he's all scarred up. Around his eyes and nose. Double B. Big bucks. Lots of ducks. Hey, Ralph, congratulations. That's a Thank big you. old North Dakota That deer was over 300 pounds. He was. And there yeah. were so many around us. And now, well, don't, don't go, go anywhere, anywhere because we're going to see if Vicky can pull it off on the last night, the last couple minutes. Woo! Woo -wee. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, folks, don't worry because time is running out on Vic the Vixter. We'll see what happens. It's the last day, bad weather. The man's insane. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I took my HS scent wafer off my hat because the wind is blowing so strong that I'm surprised this blind that we're not like rolling around in circles. David and John got it staked down. It's a solid blind, but that wind, oh my gosh, it's really kicked up. They did say that it's supposed to die down a little bit. They said this evening is light and variable. This is definitely not light and variable. I've got this really funky black mask on so I don't have to paint my face today. We'll see if it works. It's the last night here at Double B.
Vic, what's wrong with that 10 point? I waited to the last day and the very last minutes to shoot a deer, but I got it's her done. I got, it done. I got a beautiful eight pointer. Good job. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. He's a beautiful eight. We had we had a couple of younger books. We had a nice ten come in. He, he walks kind of sideways right here, and Ruff goes, "Hang on." And by the time he said, "Hang on," I never even had a shot. Ruff goes, "Why didn't you shoot him?" I go, "I didn't have a shot. He came straight at me. What do you want?" Yeah, but then we had a smaller eight in for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then also this guy comes in and he's just walks through the corn. He comes right over and just boom gives me a shot. And I was like, okay. All right. Good. Let's find him. Well, I saw blood on the side as he ran away. Perfect. There you go. That See? Good. Nice hellraiser, huh? Look at him. Isn't that a beautiful eight? Yeah. Look at those. Look at those brows on him. Beautiful buck, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, you thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Vicky. Thank. Hey Vicky, congratulations, another good deer out of our blinds up at thank Double B. You. Yeah, we gotta thank Double B Outfitters, David yep. and John Brandt, all, all the brands up there. We had so much fun, we wanna thank Tom Gallagher from Cabela's, of course. For joining us. Yeah, of course we do. And if you saw the Ameristep Lucky logo this week, you gotta go to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out the information, and someone's gonna win some Ameristep stuff. Surprise, so. surprise. Surprise, surprise. So we are very happy that you all joined us. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Turn that fuzz buster on again.